<coughs> All right, so before I get into the review, um, just a brief backstory. I've got Wikipedia, uh, Wikipedia pulled up for information that I'm not able to provide, and sorry, there's thunder happening right now. Um, I just put myself through the Banana Splits movie, um, the horror movie, Banana Splits, which people who don't know, like I said, I've got it on my other monitor here, but off the top of my head, um, 1970, it was, it was supposed to be reminiscent of the monkeys, um, you know, hey, hey, we're the monkeys, and people say we're monkey around, you know, the TV show The Monkeys, um, also starring the band, The Monkeys. Um, basically the antics of the band members and on zany things and uh, it's a quartet type thing so they wanted a show pretty much similar to that um, uh, it was pitched by Hanna Barbera um, basically like anything on Cartoon Network you see is Hanna Barbera um, it was actually it looks like it pre uh, they went with the idea in 1967 um, the Banana Splits Adventures uh, premiered on NBC September 7th, 1968. Um, and then, yeah, so basically it, it, it's kind of like a um, comedy kind of, you know, there's little skits. Um, so we've got segments Arabian Nights, Three Musketeers, Danger Island, and Micro Ventures. Um, then, of course, you have the characters. We got Flegel. Bingo, Trooper, and Snorky. So, Flegel's the Beagle. <laughs> Get it? Flegel the Beagle. Um, Bingo, at first, you don't know what he is, but he's actually an ape. Uh, Drooper, same thing. You don't know what he is. You know he's some kind of cat. Um, but he's a lion. I mean, th they kind of give him a mane, but it doesn't kind of go around. It's like here, and then it kind of goes down. And then Snorky is the elephant, because Snorky, like the snorkel type thing. Snorky. Um... And, uh, so those are the characters. Actually, if we can, uh, get some... Oh, wait, actually, do they have it on the Wikipedia, though? Well, um, actually, you guys wouldn't be able to see it, because I'm recording with the webcam. But basically, you just look banana splits. Um, so this movie just came out 2019 and um <laughs> oh god it was almost two hours long and I mean I don't know what to say about it apart from that it was bad the acting was terrible the idea is, is basically like they're animatronics in here and they kill because the show has been cancelled the show must go on and, but it's basically like Five Nights at Freddy's except more dumb I mean I love Five Nights at Freddy's but the whole concept of killer robots I mean it's been done before um, <laughs> the deaths are interesting um, I mean, spoiler alert, if you don't want things spoiled, leave now, but the deaths range from a giant lollipop, ah, to your traditional magic show type thing being cut in half for real, um, hammer to the face, fire, um, <laughs> getting run over, which admittedly was pretty funny. There's also plots that just, like, there's this whole, um, plot with the son who is like this, he, you'd guess he's a stoner, because, you know, this is like what he sounds like the whole movie. He really doesn't raise his voice or have any real feelings, you know, he's just like, yeah, I'll, I'll go do this, are you okay? Oh, man, you know, it's, it's, he, all the acting is either either over dramatic or just not there. I don't really think there's any one person who's good. And I don't know if it was them or the script. But it was bad. Um, basically the, the story is the 
kids, his birthday. Um, he loves the banana splits so much that um, you know he, he his present is he gets to go see them. Uh, when they get there, the producer finds out that it's the last show because the show is being canceled because the um, the execs want something you know the guy in charge wants to make something more edgy and um, not kitty type. So uh, so everyone goes about their business. The show happens and uh, oh the crazy antics that ensue. Deaths and it I should like if I was able to I don't know how I would do this right now considering I'm recording still um, but just look it up uh, so there's like I said there's a lot of plot lines that just no one cares about like um, the, the kind of girl who who introduced her name is Paige and she's the one who kind of shows them around and shows them to their seats and takes him backstage afterwards and she has an assistant named Doug but he doesn't say one word the entire time then we when we find him dead it's like oh no he died as he lived silent um, but uh there's this forced relationship between him um the son and uh, Paige and because it starts with, oh yeah, have your number. Can I have your number? Oh, oh yeah, that was r really stupid. Ugh. And then, some at the end they kiss and, yay, happy ever after. Um, and there's another plot of, um, a female, uh, banana split. I think it was the name was Hootie, and it was an owl, and a, a girl who I think her name was Poppy. I'm Poppy. Uh, her fiance is killed. He's the one who gets in half magically. Um, so she dons this like an owl mask type thing and the like Freddy Krueger looking gloves. They're supposed to be talons. Uh, she kills the creator of the animatronics and. Uh, revenge it's like you created these things and they killed my fiance we were going to be married and, and then that plot doesn't go anywhere you don't see her the rest of the movie until the very 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 end where she's driving off with the animatronics after they've been broken up and busted and she starts laughing she's like <laughs> you know if he's ooh the banana splits are coming back but um I hope they weren't trying to set up for a sequel because it's not going to happen. Um, so pretty much all the adults die. They never got shown outside. The uh, animatronics killed them all and they all stuffed them into a corridor. Uh, they kept all the kids. Um, we find a producer <clears throat> and he's uh, on a wheel because the Nazis have this thing where at the end of the show, you know, they spin this wheel and whatever it lands on, they do. Normally, it's rock out, which means they they grab their instruments and rock out. Um, but this time, it was just fun things like pillow fight and banana split, and I think rock out was another one that was on there. But he was fortunate enough to get banana split, which um, I mean, I was disappointed because when you think of a banana split as in a death, you think. Um, not what actually happened is more like poof, poof, legs, poof, and then he just falls to the ground. I'm like, uh, was that really a banana split? I thought they were gonna kind of like pull at his legs and split him down the middle. That would have been would have made more sense, in at least my opinion. I don't know. I'm just a horror fanatic, and when I see a death like that, I'm just disappointed. Um. The producer gets a hammer to the face, which awkward. <laughs> but um, I don't want to give too much away because I want people to kind of go see it. It's like the room where it's so bad you kind of will enjoy watching it, just because of how bad it is. Um, is it a good movie? No, <laughs> no, not by any stretch of the imagination. Is it good? The music is good though, especially the the theme song. I'm sure you've heard it, the 
Cha la 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 cha la la la. You know that song. I'm sure you've heard it. If you're growing up in the you know 80s, 90s, you know especially 90s, they had it on Boomerang all the time. Um, so you probably heard it at some point. Uh, I grew up watching it because it was on all the time. Uh, same thing, like I said, I watched The Monkees all the time. Uh, Partridge Family, which different, but you know, singing families uh, or uh, and all that. But I do encourage you guys to go watch it. You can watch it for free. Uh, I was hoping YouTube would have it for free, but uh, it's like fucking twenty dollars, I think. I'm not spending twenty dollars on that shit. So I found on uh, internet, good old internet, uh, watched it for free, and um, yeah, just just search for it, just like you know, banana splits movie free online or something like that. You'll find it. Obviously, I can't give away any sites, but. I do encourage you guys to go watch it if you want to waste an hour and some odd minutes. Um, was it scary? No. Were you? Can you predict who's going to die? Oh yeah. As soon as you meet these characters, you can point out who's going to die and who's not. It's so simple and clean. It's the way that it's making me feel tonight. It's hard to let it go. As the thunder rolls, um, I'm tangent here. Um, out of a rating, I mean, I think it gave the people gave it like a sixty percent, uh, like a four point something out of ten. So be that as it may. It was a dark and scary night. Two people were in a car on a dark and lonely road when suddenly out of the shadows came a figure. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I was going to see how long I could go with that. But it's like, this has nothing to do with the review. Or maybe it does. I don't know. Um, so, I mean, I would love to give a more in-depth analysis. But um, basically the summary is... The kid wants to see the banana splits. He gets to go see them. You know, finding out that once again, you shouldn't meet your heroes. I mean, that that's the moral of the story. Don't meet your heroes. You'll be sorely disappointed. You know? You want to meet the banana splits? Well, guess what? They're going to try to murder you. Along with every other person there. Um, so. There was some political jabs in there, of course. Um... The father, the one who got blowtorched to the face, uh, was trying to get his kid, uh, <clears throat> you know, t you know, acting, and uh, he said something about, uh, you know, the higher up that he'll be impressed, and the girl's like, she, like, excuse me, did you just assume their gender? Women can be in power too, you know, you fucking bigot, you know, kind of like that. Um, there were very, very few, you know, forced agenda type crap in there, but um, nothing to take away from just the absurdity of it all. But that one was just in your face. It's like, she, you know. But um, the characters were so forgettable, I don't even remember their names, and I just watched the damn thing. <laughs> That's how forgettable this movie is. Um, let me try to remember some. Uh, Mitch is the stepdad, and he's the douchebag. You think he dies um, because he's being chased in the, their little car, and uh, he manages to escape, and then he gets hit. Um, and at the very end, the happy ending, um, he's running after the ambulance because the ambulance apparently didn't notice that he was injured. And then the girl, who is now donning the hooter, or Hootie, whatever the fucking name is, um, that helmet, uh, drives by pff, right over him, and he dies. Apparently it splits him in half. And, um, at first you thought he was gonna get a redemption arc, because you know, he's a douchebag, focuses on work, cheating on his wife, a bad stepfather, your typical fucking thing. 
And then he comes out at the end, he's like, oh, I don't want to be with her anymore, I realize I love you, and she punches him in the face. And, um, I think her name was, her, the mom's name was Beth, but it's, it's actually pretty funny. At the end of the movie, when they're trying to, you know, get out, her shirt gets snagged, and she takes off the, the top shirt, and she has, like, a tank top on, and I swear to God, she looks like Summer from Rick and Morty. She's wearing, like, that pinkish red tank top, and, like, the beige, um, like, khaki, you know, pants that she wears. I'm like, is that... She's also a redhead. I'm like, is this fucking Summer when she gets older or something? But, uh, but her name is Beth. So, I mean, go figure. Um, yeah, it was really forgettable. Um... <laughs> Anyways, like I said, you can watch a lot of it online, like the deaths and all that shit. So I recommend going and watching it. Um, try to find it online if you can. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think if you've seen it already. And if not, go watch it. Come back to this and then tell me what you think. Are we in the same boat? Was it a bad movie or did you enjoy it? For me, I didn't like the movie, but it was, I mean, I wasn't looking away that much. It wasn't like when I watched uh, Airplane Mode, where I just found myself dozing off and trying to find something else to do. No, I was actually watching it the entire time. It just wasn't good. But, anyways, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff, and, um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.